hey, we're doing uh, My Immortal again this week. This is, uh, we have this week and next week, and then we're finished with it. Sorry we missed it for the last few weeks, but we want to finish it out. And I did the transcript again, and it's going to be a really fucking funny one. So either stick to the end, or if you're here for that, skip there. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> did Doplex's, uh, like, set get overexposed all of a sudden Yeah, for you it looks guys? like he's got a son in his room. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's, it's just it's just because it didn't autofocus his face. You're good. Yeah, I thought something happened my... with your light. I was like, get down! <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> blow. Oh, let's get down. California's <laughs> finally exploding. <laughs> no. Yum, that's good. That's beef, babe. Oh, I'm about to beef. Welcome to Beef Boys, the beefiest town around. And I'd like to, before we start, Hi. I'd like to, I'd like to rip into this. So I, I, on my birthday, I was gifted a very delicious can, well, hopefully delicious can of Bajor Blast. I think it's, I think it's pronounced Bajorino Bajor, Bajor Blast. Ba Bajor Blast. <laughs> and I mean, what better place to drink it than in the, the Taco Bell set? So let's, uh, yeah, let's ooh, crack it open. Crack it open. Let's, let's get a live reaction. Let me get you some music. Okay, interesting smell. Interesting smell. Very tropical. <laughs> for the re for the record, we don't have this at Taco Bell here in New Zealand. <laughs> it's his first this time. Is, this is playing <laughs> off over the intercom in the in the Taco Bell. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. His first time. Oh, oh, take a nice big old glug arena. A nice big soup for daddy. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's a lot on the line here for Doplex and I. We yeah. love this shit. There's our lifeblood. I'm literally. I'm gonna end my life after this if Kudos doesn't like it. He's gonna get hints. Uh, notes. Notes of Baja. <laughs> Secondary notes of Blast. Would you say it's heavier on the Baja or heavier on the Blast? Definitely getting stronger Baja leanings. Okay. All um. Right. That is very tasty. Except for the fact that it's made with uh, shitty corn syrup, like all your stupid sodas are. Bro, this how could you say that? Prick. Yeah. What do you What do you make it with? Emu syrup, Yo, you fucking nerd? <laughs> we just got a lot no, of corn on no, this side of the world. No, they no. bring out a kangaroo into a no. fucking mason jar and shit and it, leave it for six months. That's their bomb. The oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bomb well, is ready. That, but <laughs> but no, all American sodas I've tasted have this like very specific, weird, syrupy kind no, of they aftertaste. Do, they do. Them. Yeah, they, Uncle Sam like, comes do. in every jar. That's what makes it American, baby. Exactly. <laughs> oh, he's he's getting into it now. Yeah, you're, you're oh, getting anyway, cheers, boys. Thirds. Here's the freaking weekend, or uh, I guess, it, here's the freaking Thursday. It. I'm not Get gonna skull the badger, skull it. Stab it all the side and, <laughs> and shotgun it, even though it's that open already. Scottish. <laughs> read, read the ingredients. Yeah, <laughs> read the ingredients. Tell us what's in the Baja uh, okay. Blast. Uh, so Baja. Oh, they weren't lying. <laughs> Blast. <laughs> Uncle Sam's cum. <laughs> this Baja extract. So t the last two ingredients are just yellow five, blue one. <laughs> hey, that's classic. You know that's how you make you like teal. You don't want blue yeah, about yellow number five. You know what's funny about yellow number five? When uh, uh, a little bit like, of Monica <laughs> in my <laughs> life. It's a little bit of style for yellow number five. Yes. A little bit of teal in your gullet. <laughs> a little bit of baja in, in this the, blast. Uh, <laughs> Yo! <laughs> um, so as a kid, I remember <laughs> nobody drank Mountain Dew specifically because of Yellow Number no. Five because apparently it made your penis uh, smaller. But then come uh, to find out, it doesn't do that. It actually just lowers your sperm count. So wait, what? Uh, I thought it was literally just food coloring. Let me let me Google this. One. Yeah, Google you that. Just, don't make I just make it shit. <laughs> so I found an article that that does specifically reference that rumor. Um, but I'm trying to find out. I, I gotta read through this. Cordy, cut, 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 pause. All right, pause. Let me let me get the facts. Yellow number five. I had I had back. Jamie I had I had Jamie pull it up uh, about yellow oh, number five. Oh, pull pulls, Jamie. Um, <laughs> oh, pull it up, Jamie. Oh wait, hold on. Let me get the sound. But fucking shit. Oh, oh pull my nipples, up, Jamie. Jamie. So Jamie pulled it up, and uh, it turns out that the claim is false. Um, it does not shrink wow, your penis. Wow, I wouldn't have guessed or, that. Or place. lower your sperm count. It's like, yeah, but that's yeah, the for gamers. Yeah, it was it was like a big it was a big myth like as a kid no, like yeah. I remember everybody like it was it was just like a thing like oh you're drinking Mountain Dew your, your penis must be real tiny yeah yeah so like all my <laughs> life it I avoided is, Mountain but Dew but it's like, unrelated <laughs> maybe it was like maybe it was like a low key like the FBI were like yo these kids are all dying from like fucking diabetes. <laughs> 
We gotta fucking yeah. convince them. <laughs> they won't care if it's bad for you. We gotta tell them it shrinks their already small <laughs> Caucasian penises. Yeah. Hurry. One guy What's slipped the, okay, a note yeah. to a five year old on the playground. Hey, yeah. tell all your friends this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, what, was, what, was the the biggest, what was the biggest L the CIA pulled? Uh, dropping crack in black neighborhoods or convincing kids <laughs> that yellow number five shrinks your cock? You decide. That's a yeah, close one. That's 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 we're not here one. to decide that one. We're just yeah, here leave, to present leave a, the facts. Leave a comment. With with your with your opinion on that. <laughs> Speaking of yellow yeah. number five, did you know that Lou Bega is fucking German? Who's Lou Bega? I don't know who Lou the Bega guy did Mambo is. Mambo number five. He's the guy that's saying Mambo number. He's fucking German. Oh really? It oh. shattered my reality. I always thought he was black. <laughs> you know, there's black is Germans, I mean, you, right? Those things aren't those <laughs> those aren't mutually exclusive. <laughs> There are no black that, Germans. I can't tell if that was a joke or if Doflex is that fucking good. I'm that a, fucking oh, stupid. That was, that was not a joke. Oh that was just God. me being completely ignorant. You know, Gordon comes up that. to a black guy named Hans and he's like, The fuck? <laughs> what the fuck are you? Yo, is this Doflex. real? <laughs> Pinch him. You know, I've always, wanted to, I've always wanted to meet. I've always wanted to meet like either like a black guy or a white dude who only speaks Chinese. Like they don't know a lick of like John Cena. Oh, <laughs> Bing Chin. <laughs> but, no, but he, I think, jo I think John Cena knows a little know English. What he's saying. No, when he <laughs> says when he's speaking English, it's all just he's script reading. He doesn't know what it means. <laughs> yeah, is that what Tokyo well, yeah. Hotel does? Because they can't. I think they can't actually speak English. Tokyo Hotel is such a throwback. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what the because fuck? because they're, they're like German. They're also months. German. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. They are. Because they're, so they're, they're, they're not from they're related to Lou Baker. They did Mumbo Number no. Five with them, but they're not just on instruments. <laughs> Mumbo Number no. Five by Tokyo Hotel. <laughs> I, I don't know if this is like <laughs> German. Band. I don't know if this is real or if this is just some shit I heard. But apparently, they can't actually speak English. So, like, when they speak, like, do the English versions of their songs, they just like someone was just like, "Yeah, okay, say it like this," and then it'll sound good to English speakers, and they're like, "All right." Yeah. Or, I guess they said all right in German, though. All right. Da, oh, all right. Yes. Thank da, da, you da, 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 all right. so much. That happy night. <laughs> they just walk up the stage. That was just boring. Yeah, I mean, all them Eastern Europeans are the same, am I right? Yeah. Am I Germans right? It is, West, it is weird, like, because uh, in Mexico, they have, like, a lot of Chinese restaurants. We talked about this on Beef Boys before, but that same one that got shut oh, down. Oh, yeah. For, the one that was uh, selling dog. Reasons. Yeah, exactly. When I went there, there were, like, straight, like, like, Chinese people speaking like the greatest Spanish I've ever heard in my life. It was yeah. it was a trip. Like it's it's weird when you when you see somebody like from a different ethnicity speaking this language better than you yeah. can. It's like, bro, what am I doing? Yeah. Yeah, you like, the time to can, come can, down can, I clarify, can I clarify something really oh, quick? Chicken. I said that the instrument that was that I said the Chinese restaurant that was sold uh, shut down for selling dogs. That wasn't a racist joke. That re don't that actually happened. That actually happened. happened. <laughs> that happened. I was a yeah, throwback to an episode. That, like, I wasn't episode just making two? a racist joke. Yeah. That's yes. a good, that was just good <laughs> clarification. Kudos. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, that's yeah, that's that what was yeah. what episode was that? Was that Carl's Jr.? I forgot. Kudos that was a really early one. Yeah. Oh, that's Carl's Jr. Community. That's episode two, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that might have been. But yes, that was not a racist joke. Uh, if you go back and find that episode, we brought up sources that Courtney put on screen. So yes, yeah, that's what actually like happened. A yeah, 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 yeah. And we're back. <laughs> um, and we're back. Can I show you guys a meme that I found a few weeks ago? Of or course. Yes! So, Show it to us. I'm gonna Show uh, your mom, mom. I want to preface by saying he could be, except well, besides that his account is deleted and I'm like heartbroken and I can only find four videos of his. He could oh, no. be the Mr. Block U2, but not in. <laughs> he does. He's not like him at all. It's just that phenomenon of like, I could. If I could watch him every day, like if he posted a video a day, sure. I would watch a video a day forever. Like even yeah. some of my favorite YouTubers, like I wouldn't watch them every day if they posted every day. But like this dude, I could wake up <laughs> yeah. with a cup of coffee and of his TikTok every fucking morning <laughs> and be content with life. So his name is fucking, <laughs> it's like gibberish or something. Hold on. Uh... Oh wait, no, we it, TV. Liam Ying. Oh wait, no, that's <laughs> the Lou <others>. Vega. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo Tokyo <laughs> Hotel. <laughs> this Fuck is Mumbo Number Five. 
<laughs> his name is Dimension Seven R on TikTok. So I've I've looked like everywhere I can to find name. if his account is like findable. <laughs> Except I don't understand how to use the Wayback Machine. So someone please try and use that and see if that works on this Dimension Seven R. You'll probably see it post like in the video. So try and find that because I want more of these. All right. So you might have seen this one. This one's just it's okay. titled second floor apartment activities. <laughs> um, oh, you <laughs> the fuck? So, but I have more, but you might <laughs> let, we'll just do this one to start because this one went viral oh, okay. recently. This is how I saw it. <laughs> I love this one. All right. Here we go. Christ! <laughs> what is he doing? Dude, these Wait, next stomps, are, these next stomps are oh so deliberate. God. It's like, <laughs> dude, there's like CDs on the ground. <laughs> sound. Oh shit! Was that edited in? What no, is, I know that's what real. Sound so heavy. I, I love the, the oh. caption as well. Sick, sick and floor <laughs> activities because it's exact. Like that's just what living in an apartment is. It's just cuts yeah. around you, like kicking their doors in for some fucking reason, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah. and this is why. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It, it sounds it, like he lives in like a, a, a building that wasn't properly like put together. Like it literally just sounds like a metal frame with like, yeah. with like plywood because like he's yeah. literally, that sound is the metal frame of the building shaking. Yeah. It, it can't yeah. be anything else. It's going you know to what, give in. You know what? It, it kind of, I, I kind of sympathize with this guy because I really like clapping really loudly. And what I've taken to doing lately is because it really doesn't like when I do it. So when I go to the bathroom, like almost every time I go to the bathroom, I'll try and clap as loud as I can because I'm also in the bathroom. So it echoes really nicely. So I'm like trying to make as much noise as possible. And I think this is what this guy's trying to do. He's like, he found this one part of his house where if he jumps, it sounds like a fucking yeah. bomb going off. This and he's like, this is, fine. He's like, this yeah. is Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, his fucking downstairs neighbors, all they hear upstairs is just. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? His fucking battle cry is insane. Yeah. It, so, it sounds yeah, like a fucking <laughs> ring. Yeah, it sounds like a fucking like a uh, Devil Wears Prada fucking <laughs> like breakdown <laughs> fucking. Yeah. All right. Here's here's when he gets the fucking Bing chilling John Cena. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus my God. Christ. The, the time is now. The time is now. He's <laughs> even got the championships anymore. Oh, WrestleMania, WrestleMania 23. 23. John Cena. <laughs> 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 He's got hops though. Uh, dude, I know his air <laughs> time is crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, the fucking the salute, the salute. It's like he surprises himself with it. He's like, "What the fuck am I doing? Where am I?" <laughs> he got caught up in the moment. He just watched Stomp the Yard and was like, "Yo, this looks cool." <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. All right, I'm gonna show you one more, and then me and Andrew. And my friend Jerry, who's like an audio engineer and he's a musician, were up at uh -huh. six a.m. last night. 6 a.m. me and Jerry's time, 2 a.m. Andrew's time, making a remix meme of the next one I'm about to show you. Because we were just, I don't even know why. I think Jerry just was like, I'm going to put this in FL and fuck with it. And then I was like, I'll, I'll make the video. All right, here. Oh, hell yeah. Here's the, the raw version. Oh, I can't wait to see this. I think this is my favorite oh, one. That one was legendary. Crazy. I like the weird music that he hits off on the side. It's really beautiful. God, it's bad vibes. Is that what that is? It looks like a child. Yo, his pupils are straight up the size of the, his, the entire front I, of the eye. I know eyeball. he's so cracked out. He has no <laughs> irises yeah. anymore. Fucking crack. <laughs> it's just straight black. <laughs> Yo, he's, he's probably just doing fucking Jankum in his bathroom and <laughs> <laughs> thrashing his floor. Oh, dude, he's, 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 he's probably toys. shelving mollies every morning just to wake up. <laughs> if the you listen closely, you just can, popped. You can hear like 15 lids all going <laughs> in the background. Yeah. <laughs> like, the next batch is done. The 420 lid just popped. <laughs>
and that's how, that's how he shakes them up. He does that jump and all the all the jinko <laughs> just jiggle. Yeah. It's all of his yeah. jars going crazy. My shit is done. <laughs> I, I would love to know what it's like to live under the sky. Oh god, <laughs> I wouldn't. I think Jerry said it, but like if I ever saw that guy, it's on site. If I lived underneath of him, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Do you think he stopped uploading because he just like crashed through the floor and died and like when he, crashed, <laughs> he crashed like with his phone and the guy like deleted his TikTok out of spite. He's like, I won't even yeah. let the internet love you while you're gone. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would have loved to have seen I'll that. Just I'll, I'll, one I'll final you, big stomp. <laughs> I'll do <laughs> falls through and then the guy like uh, whose house he crashes into just runs up and just starts fucking beating the shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I've just been like no the hesitation, don't pause him. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, this is a, so this is me, Andrew, and Jerry's edit of that last one. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking scream is so lit. Dude, watch the way he runs. This is Andrew's favorite part. I want, to, I, want to, I, want to, I want to watch the whole thing again for this yeah, time. Okay, okay. Watch, <laughs> so fucking funny. watch when he, when not it, this runoff screen, but the next one. <laughs> just watch the way he like, he like, just watch. He like runs out of frame. It's so funny. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my god. Bad. Yeah, the way That's he runs off real. screen had me pissing myself last night. <laughs> yeah. Oh so my god. Good. Yeah, that, that little one where it's just his arm wiggling around. <laughs> yeah. He's like, it's like a, it reminds me of a fucking like the Spyro characters that steal your eggs and just like <laughs> fucking sprint yeah. away around the corner. Oh my god, that's funny. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, but oh, I love Jesus that man. Christ. Someone please like, find me oh. more of his videos. So god, I, I someone please them. find him and have him move in above James. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I'm so down. I'm yeah. so down. And then, and then and then bring him on Beef Boys. Yeah, <laughs> I I would if if people can find me his shit, I'll ration them like fucking. Food at a containment <laughs> camp or whatever the fuck. Like, give yeah. it, I'll, I'll eat like one every two weeks. I just, I just need a little bit. I'm you like, should, you should re recreate one of those. I feel dude, like that'd, be really that'd be so funny. <laughs> just get kicked out of your apartment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, I dead ass feel like I would go through these floors. These floors feel fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Can, you know, he, oh. he, people would say, like, we don't know whether he lives in an apartment or in a house, but, like, that's the sort of shit I do when I am in, like, a remote <laughs> house or something. Like, if I'm oh, in a house, yeah. like, when I'm at my mum's place, she's like, like, I'm I'm not in an apartment anymore, and she goes out for the day, I'm fucking, like, screaming and just fucking around, because it's, like, Stop the first time I'm allowed to be as loud as I want without yeah, worrying yeah. about pissing anyone off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's chair it's shit. I, I feel like I'm, I'm almost, like, quieter when I'm alone, because I'm, like... I, 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 I like to feel like I'm just a ghost inhabiting this space. No, I do that too. I'm one of two modes. I'm either like, I'm either like, how quiet can I be? Like, I'm going to fucking slink around here like a sneaky snake. Or I'm that yeah. fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> fucking kicking doors oh! and shit. <laughs> <laughs> the time is now! <laughs> fucking, I just walk around anyway, and that, sing. The, fucking, I feel uh, like he, he's either an in an apartment unit. on a second floor. Thank you. <laughs> we yeah. we Fantastic. we slaved away on it. Um, <laughs> he's either in an apartment on a second floor, or a lot of like, I don't know, like a lot of houses in Florida won't won't they don't build houses on struts and shit because they don't have basements, so they just build it on like concrete. So you would like never get that sound. But like my old on house in New Jersey, and popsicle sticks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my old house in New Jersey, since it had a basement, it's built on like a frame, so like the floor isn't going over like a whole slab of anything. And honestly, if I jumped mm. like that, it would totally fucking make that noise. <laughs> <laughs> it, it sounds so like he, you he know might when you like walk past. It yeah. sounds like when you walk past like a construction site and they've got like 
they like <laughs> fucked up the road or something so they put down like a massive like slab of like steel to walk yeah. over yeah. like and you steal and it's like <laughs> like it fucking makes that sound because it like tips a bit it sounds like he's standing on like a steel slab <laughs> On, yeah. a, on a job site and it's just he might, you guys ever see he might have brought one home you guys ever see those videos where they're like welding where they're like welding and shaping metal and they took a they take a huge block of metal and put it on a huge like a uh, hydraulic press and it just fucking slams the ball until yes. it flattens <laughs> that's what, that's what oh, i yeah, always think of when i right hear that it's just, it's just the metal yeah. on metal just trying to flatten it into a different shape somehow <laughs> Sp I'm speaking curious of her, if that like spot has just like a big dip in it. Like, <laughs> well, speaking of, of speaking of floor holes, there was a I remember there's a flat uh, my friends lived in that they like the first people I knew who got like their own flat. So we used to go around to their place all the time to drink and shit. Um, yeah. And they fuck they fuck that place up as all students do in Dunedin. Yeah, and they their like kitchen like floor <laughs> had like was like the wood was like rotting out. Like all, like a they they treated the place like shit, but mostly <laughs> the landlord didn't give a fuck. Like yeah. they, a lot of them are just like overseas investors who just want free money, um, yeah. but don't care about anyone actually living in there. So like this place is just dilapidated. And we were drinking there one time, and this like there was this hole in the the kitchen that I noticed was getting larger and larger every time I visited, and this <laughs> they got really drunk and they just started being like fuck it and they started like oh my punching God. it open and then stuffing beer bottles in it so like <laughs> there was probably like 30 or 40 beer bottles stuffed Inside in that under the house just like <laughs> it, like in an inaccessible area underneath the house 30 or 40 so, beer bottles and a giant fucking alcoholic rat that thinks he's like the king yeah. of the underground yeah. he's like yes Whoa. they're back Whoa. bring me more beer and jump yes. on my hole he's like beating his rat I life <laughs> <laughs> Those guys were nuts though. They had a brick wall in their backyard, like the, from like the neighbor's garage or something. And that well, I think it was with the same party. They were just throwing every glass they had at it, <laughs> like every glass bottle. And then they ran out of glass bottles, so they went in the fridge and started getting full beers and throwing it at the wall. <laughs> All the glass was landing in their property, so they just had fucking sh shitloads of shards of glass, like in their in their grass in their garden and stuff. Stupid. Jesus. Probably look like fucking Fuck. Max Mofo's backyard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's that's exactly what I was imagining. Yeah. They no, yeah, pretty much was there. Oh. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Damn, Damn son. I'm gonna get beer. God, that meme you made was so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, Thank that was you. Really I feel like I good. shot out my voice from laughing. So that's <laughs> oh, that's that was one of the topics like I wanted to bring up. We were talking about this the other day. So it was me and James and Andrew. What were we doing? Were we doing. I can't remember what I. Oh, you guys were talking, and I think I just jumped in because I saw you were here. I can't remember. But we just started yeah, like fucking... shooting the shit. And uh, I found that Yasify Twitter account, which is really funny. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, like, what it was. I yeah. can't remember. <laughs> Yeah. We're, we're, there's just this Twitter account that like does like the super fucking Kim Kardashian makeup shit onto like random pictures. It's a really it's called Yasify bot. And so we're like, oh, does this is it a bot? And the, the description is just, <laughs> I'm not a bot. I just paid for a free month, oh no, for a month of some <laughs> like a uh, Face App Pro or something, yeah. which is so funny. But there was one photo on that. It's it's of Mark Zuckerberg standing outside the meta office, but like they they yassified it, and that version's pretty funny. But the the pre <laughs> yeah. version, he's like, I, I don't Are know. He looks like uh, Johnny Silverhand. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah he's like about. a. I just said the beef like, talk. Yeah, dude, that like that image. I don't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> it had kudos like legitimately pissing himself. <laughs> it's like he, he's like the most the most scuffed Justin Wang you've ever seen. Like yeah. like if some random white dude was like, I'm gonna be Justin Wang. You know, they, that's or like you see those guys who like pay like five hundred thousand dollars to look like a member of BTS and they look fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a that's, San, that's San that guy. He, that's a remake. That's a he that's does. a fucking uh, that's if Mark Zuckerberg paid five hundred million dollars to look like Justin Wang. That's not the best they could do. <laughs> yeah. Um, like the guy who, about who paid a bunch of money to look like fucking Trunks from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> you remember Wait, that the guy? Fuck? No, I mean, yeah, what? Yeah, what the I don't fuck? know. I heard Wait, about you guys that. don't remember that? No. Courtney, put it on no, screen. Just this Courtney, put it on screen for me right now. Also, I want to see. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the the point of the point of bringing up Scuff Zuck is oh, yeah. something <laughs> yeah. about that image triggered something deep in my brain. I think it was that perfect mix of like we were really. It was just like this chill, spontaneous, like spontaneous 
like hang out sesh with these guys yeah. and we were, yeah. we were already like <laughs> laughing a bunch of these justify things and then that image just fucking like comboed me off the off the <laughs> down and down smashed me off the edge it edge guarded me and fi- i was like in stitches like i was literally like tears like multiple tears were yeah. fucking pouring down my face because i found it so fucking funny and then like yeah. and then that situation you laugh so hard that then everyone else laughs and that makes you laugh more yeah. and i was just thinking yeah. like it's it's what the last time i felt that was the fucking tomato town story like that was the, 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 the last time i laughed that hard at something and i was just yeah. we're saying like there's that like special moment you get like two or three times a year where you just laugh so fucking hard like the stars align and you laugh so hard that you like that's the, feel like passing out that's yeah. such, it's such like a cool that's feeling bro boys. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I agree. There was, there was when something... you were like your closest friends. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. There was something that we were we were uh w- like watching back in episode of Beef. I was about to bring up the same exact really thing Really late at night James for me, so here. it was pretty late for Kudo or uh, Doplex too. And I think Doplex was like really tired and he wasn't really talking much and I I said something. I don't even think I meant to say it. I think I misspoke. And somehow, like the gibberish that oh. came out, like had dope, had dopeplex in that like, <laughs> yeah. like crying yeah. territory. I know exactly what you're talking. I don't about. remember what I said though. I remember. I remember very well, <laughs> but, but okay. I can't. I can't say oh, it. Oh, you said I good nigga. <laughs> Fuck, man! (laughs) Come on! We come on, man! Come on, bro! I thought, Jace, I thought you were bringing up the time that you were here. He said some bad words. He said the N word. Just to to clarify, I, I, I just miss some for some reason. I miss said if we leave this in. I just miss said good night for some reason, and it sounded like the N word, but I just said good nigget. You were, you were, you were pronouncing the word night, but like not. Phonetically, yeah, you're, almost you're, phonetically. You're, 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 yeah, you're really pronouncing it like. Yeah, I think I was doing <laughs> yeah. like a phonetically a phonetic meme, and I was just riffing, and then I and then I went for good night, and then I, it was just kind of like a pause. <laughs> Didn't <laughs> think. Straight up selling said the end, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. it fucking killed me. I thought, <laughs> I thought James was bringing up the time when he was visiting, and all of us were on a call, and for some reason. Either the playback audio on Discord oh sounded really God. blown out, oh. but me and James were like losing our minds in the living room, and Doplex kept thinking we were laughing at him. So that made us laugh even harder because we were like, Doplex, yeah. please, we were, we're not laughing at you, yeah. bruh. But like everything. Oh, I, th- every- I thought you were talking about the time where my mic sounded like it was underwater and like all staticky. And then you put that on your soundboard. Oh my god, I have to find that sound. <laughs> I thought that's oh, I, was, I wish I was there for that. I missed that. That, oh, was, yeah, another, that, too. that oh. was another one that I that, that I think that was Tears Territory. Yeah, that yeah. was also super funny. We were pissing. What a time to be alive. Oh, what a time. Pretty much, what in short, friends. all of my biggest laughs this year has been because of these boys. Same. Facts. I know, how good does that feel? It feels Mostly pretty good. because I haven't seen anyone else, but also... You guys are very funny, and uh, I'm very lucky <laughs> oh, to have you always, my friends. No, you. No, you. Hit him now with let's the Uber. motherfucking Reddit We're questions. funny men. Yeah, Courtney, take us over to the... Also the... The... Ow. The... the, the... <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, Courtney just leaves uh, it on us doing this the whole time and doesn't even <laughs> transition. She probably will. Yeah, yeah what a woman. What a I was woman. A, I was walking now, I could have been like, saw, like, what a woman? Was, <laughs> what a woman. Or what a what a woman. You don't know. <laughs> I tried and to play it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's lucky people only read the transcripts and not actually listen to the episode. But <laughs> yeah, I was uh, true, walking yeah. home the other day and I saw a, a bump, not a bumper sticker, but like a sticker in the car window of like, like the male symbol and the female symbol locked. Like it was like a heterosexual pride sticker. And I was like, Why come on, man. That's, a thing. <laughs> that's yeah. somehow I gayer like than women. if you just put a gay pride flag on your car. That is yeah. true. You know, it's funny. Like, I feel like I all like those the times, like... Like, all those times where you had, like, that guy in school who was so, like, very, like, I'm straight. You know, like, because, like, you know, me and my buddies used to joke around, like, you know, slap each other's asses. We'd grab each other's, like, balls and shit. Like, it's just, like, drink each other's coffee. Yeah, you're just goofing around with your boys. But then you have that one guy who's, like, oh, you know, like, yeah, the guy's really, yeah. 
and then and, and it, it, it always it comes always out like 15 out years gay. later yeah so. yeah <laughs> no i had a couple <laughs> friends i had a couple friends like that and i was always just like bro i'm so secure with my straightness and masculinity that i will put I your penis in my it, mouth exactly <laughs> No, because every time I would get drunk, I would just like flop my balls out of the top of my pants and just like walk around yeah. with them, and they'd be like, "Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? I've never seen another guy's balls. I only watch POV porn. Stop Ew, my, my eyes. eyes. My eyes. <laughs> I'd just be like, bro, chill. <laughs> we all got some balls. That, we do all you remember got there was balls. a straight pride parade somewhere in America, and it was like the most Probably. pathetic looking thing in the there world. Was, yeah, it was, like, yeah. all that was, it was very funny. <laughs> It was like a counter yeah. a counter parade. <laughs> the first ever yeah, counter like, parade. Yeah, what like, why don't like, we get our own parade? It's yeah. Like, yeah, it's called the <laughs> like, Macy's yeah, yeah. Parade, you fucking idiot. <laughs> the Macy's Parade. <laughs> yeah, when Santa comes in the, at the end and it's Christmas season, that's the straight person yeah. moment. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to some... <laughs> <laughs> Rusty okay. Ancho asks is there any media you know is absolute trash but can't help but enjoy despite or possibly because of its shitiness specifically professionally produced material not fan stuff like sonichu or my immortal <laughs> the fuck you yeah. saying about my immortal fuck. yeah sure. yeah um hey, Mario. Raven's about to write an author's note, pussy. <laughs> author's note. Rusty Chino, a bitch for real. <laughs> it's been 25 years and she's still getting flamed by Prince. Yeah, still that, by that's, Prince. that's tragic, man. That's facts. Probably, I don't know, Assassin's Creed. They're like kind of shitty games, but I always play them. Like every single one. Like they're all the mm. same, but I'm just I like- I rebuke oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> that. That they're shitty they're, games? Or? Yeah, no, they're good games. No, they're good. I like, mean, they're, they're fine. Like, they're very... They're fine. They're, I love they're, they're not really doing anything crazy, but I really like them. Like, they're just I mean, like, the beginning, the like, beginning of the series was, but... I even yeah. think now, No, like, this, the beginning really was. There, there's, there hasn't been a ton of innovation, but... It's like it's like eating McDonald's. You're like, well, this isn't <laughs> anything special, yeah. but goddamn it, goddamn it tastes good. Like you're not gonna go yeah. to McDonald's and be like, this is an amazing revolutionary piece of burger, but <laughs> you're also not gonna not eat it. So on we might. That is true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I I don't I don't hate Assassin's Creed. I just I have a weird. It's like just with any U Ubisoft, specifically Ubisoft games. They just they mm -hmm. have this flavor to them that I just like Ubisoft. They just don't connect with me. I don't know. It's like mm. a, they, every, everything just feels so off to me. I can't explain it. I can't I put like it into history. words. Yeah, I mean, the, the history of Assassin's Creed is really cool. Um, and I like the premise of them. And I, I like how they look. But once I mm. actually sit down to play them, I just can't. Like, it happened with, uh, what was the last one? Valhalla? Mm. Like, oh, you I got love it. You, Valhalla. you got given that for free. Yeah, Valhalla Yeah, and then I, I sat down and I played it. And, like, I got, I got, like, a decent chunk of the way through. And I was like, I just... I felt like I was like forcing myself to play through it because I, I liked the aesthetic of everything and how everything looked and like mm. the story. But it was just like gameplay. I just felt like I had like my hands were covered in butter. While Assassin's I was Creed is very much like a prophecy story, like written into a like a decently uh, fleshed out historical context. So like, if you don't like history and like big like uh, odysseys, then like that's like right up my alley. Like fucking yeah. Percy Jackson and shit beating my be dick into my shit. own mouth and shit over that so like <laughs> i don't know i th i think like they're, they're fucking for how big the maps are they're like like odyssey and valhalla are graphically fucking incredible and those mm. those are some of the biggest open worlds i ever played so like i don't know i think they do some things really great they're, they definitely aren't as innovative as they used to be but they also were super innovative like 10 or 15 years ago that is oh, yeah, like, like one and two. Like, I, I still, yeah. I still think like any game that has that level of traver. Like I'm, I'm a sucker for a game with a good traversal kind of mechanic. Like if there's like a fun yeah, way to too. get around, like I'm yeah. just gonna love that. That's why like GTA Five is so fuck. Or any GTA, but GTA Five especially. Cars are just so satisfying to like hop and hoot around, jump out yeah. or whatever. Um, Running is and, so and, aids, but yeah, the cars are, like, the cars are perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Or like yeah. Spider-Man, you know, zipping around feels fucking awesome. Like, so I think that's what I liked about Assassin's Creed. It's like, I can just Ugh. go anywhere. I can just climb anything. But, but then like in the latest ones, I've kind of dropped the free climbing. It's not as good. Anyway, that's yeah. probably my answer. What about you guys? Boys. I got to think <laughs> I'm about thinking. That. <laughs> I was just going to see me, how long me, that silence is going to hold. Let me stew. I think I, I have like, one. All right, you go. Spit it. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna have to. I'll go with the the second and third Jurassic Park movies. Veggie Tales. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, nope. I was, I was gonna. That. I was gonna do it. I was gonna do yeah, it. I, I, was I, like, I knew nah, someone was gonna do it. So I just wanted to get it in and get it out. <laughs> yeah. So, oh. Yeah, I'll have to go with the second and third Jurassic Park movies. Those stories are so goofy and not amazing in the slightest, but I love them. Big dinosaur eat people. <laughs> <laughs> also, you're not going to get another movie where in like the first, what, 30 minutes or so, uh, Dr. Grant's on the plane and he wakes up and he looks out the window and it's like whizzing by. He's like, oh, no, I think we're, you know, they're, he thinks they're crashing. And then he hears Alan and he looks over and there's a velociraptor looking at him going, Alan. <laughs> That's so stupid. Wait the, <laughs> wait, the velociraptor says Alan? Yeah, it's a dream. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's like wait. Did I, I don't miss But nonetheless, the, one? the Velociraptor be looking at him, and he goes, "Alan," and it's very funny, and it's very dumb. <laughs> yeah, it's <is> pretty funny, <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um. Oh, I got one. Go Hit ahead. us. I got. I got an easy one. It's funny because I've been I've been thinking about making a video about this for like years just to defend it because I feel like people have hated on this game for. Since it came out, uh, Resident Evil 6, um, let me, let me just explain myself here. Resident Evil 6 is, is so vastly hated because it's such a separation from the series, uh, because it, it's literally like a Michael Bay fucking movie. There's, there's like a, there's a little bit of horror to it, but it has like the funnest third person gameplay I've ever played in my life. Just like, you know, like, uh, over, over the shoulder shooter. Mm, stuff. Funnest you can do, isn't like, a word. <laughs> The, the most fun, uh, and there's co-op, and it's a lot of fun to play with uh, your significant other. Wait, is that the one that the starts in, like, it, does it start in, like, Africa? As That's you're five. Like, okay, the, I, f is five, five co -op? is Yeah, five is also co-op. Because five feels uh, very cinematic, and, like, it's not horror at all. Yeah. It's like, and I played it with my friend Jerry, and I get, well, I don't know. <laughs> I'd say five has more horror elements than six. Six is very yeah. like bombastic with the way it does things. It's like a He's lot of like, uh, oh, a helicopter got shot down. It's coming down. Oh, explosion. You got to run away yeah. from the bridge before it falls. Optimus oh, Prime is going to shoot Butterball. It, yeah, yeah. It's, it's literally that though. It's like just that yeah. type of energy. That's just, it's just like all throughout. But like being able to experience that with another person, I feel like is vastly looked over just for like the way it, the game presents itself I because agree. like i've defended this game like to death like for years because like if if you play it with another person there is not another game where you can get that specific bottled experience uh, yeah. outside of Re maybe resident Evil 5 but resident Evil 6 does it so much better mm. uh so and just to clarify because i know a lot of people uh Re the, the whole Resident Evil fan base is just like a bunch of like babies. Um, I played the series literally since Inception. It's my favorite series ever. So fuck you. Yes, since I know. Since 2009, Inception, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> yeah, that movie. <laughs> That's crazy. Do you remember like in the, the, the fucking one of the Transformers movies? One of them like there's like a giant Bud Light beer bottle on a billboard, Probably. and he like he like pulls it off and cr like one of the uh, Transformers cracks it off and drinks it, and it's like, why would there be Wait, fucking really? liquid in it? Why would they fill that up? <laughs> Wait, is that real? Because fifty million dollars from fucking <laughs> Anheuser. Yeah, yeah no, it's, like, it's, it's just it's wacky product placement, but it's like it doesn't even make sense. Like there's like a <laughs> yeah. billboard with a giant f like it's fake turned into a commercial. Uh, it's either Bud Light or Budweiser, whatever doesn't matter. But like there's a giant yeah. beer bottle on this billboard and one of the transformers like crashes next to it in a fight or something and he's like oh perfect <laughs> why would they fill a, a, a billboard sized bottle of Bud Drink Light would be like 5,000 liters worth it'd be maybe like, it's like the keg for that. inside like there's just a little tap that comes out of it <laughs> and like I love it. Nice the and restaurant warmed by yeah. the sun I love yeah, the thought yeah, of exactly. someone in the theater watching giant robots fight each other in space and then one of them takes a sip and they go my immersion is broken <laughs> <laughs> there's no liquid in that <laughs> <laughs> there was there was another like there's another one and another uh the one with Marky Mark in it uh where like they like get out of like a crash car and the 
I think like there's like a crashed Bud Light truck next to them and there's Bud Light everywhere. <laughs> and he like gr- picks one of them up, like cracks it open on the like door of his car, like drinks a bit and then like throws it at the guy he's arguing with. And it's such a weird fucking like why would you Dude, do I that? Hate, like quick weird. time events in movies like that where it's like where you have to suspend your <laughs> disbelief so event. Dude, it's like a quick time event in a video game. It's like you have to suspend yeah. your disbelief so much cuz it's like all right, everything around them stopped and they're going to do this comedic thing where they drink a beer and then throw it at the guy who's trying to like fight them to the death, but he gave him a second. It's like I fucking hate that shit so much. It's like yeah. it's like so too campy. Stupid. Like I don't mind campy, but like I fucking hate there's, that so much. There's easier ways yeah. to integrate I don't know, maybe not. Who fucking yeah, even cares? It's not like anyone's like watching those movies. Like that. Yeah. yeah. It's not like anyone's watching like, those movies shouldn't be like, hmm. I couldn't, it's like I couldn't when, accept uh, a big robot, robot but... It's, it's like when movies used to always have, like, scenes where bottle. somebody's smoking. <laughs> like, do you, do you remember that era where, like, every movie had, like, just every other scene, like, somebody was smoking a cigarette? Yeah. It was, like, yeah. a weird, yeah. like... Not even, like, even until, like, the early 2000s. Like, it was you just, know, like, it cigarettes went for a while. on every scene. Yeah. Big like tobacco. That, like, like literally almost to the point where you're like, okay, come on, nobody smokes this much. Like <laughs> yeah. I know you're, like, <laughs> Nah people nah people smoke that much. I guess that's true, yeah. Do you remember but, um the, apparently they, they used movies to integrate the idea of the sober driver into like the collective consciousness, like movies and T V shows, like they started writing in people being like, Oh no, no, you don't drink, you you I'll drive you home. Like not as like a a really overly obvious thing but just as like I guess to kind of tell people like oh here's a thing people here's a normal thing people do so that if you don't do that yeah. you're like oh that's yeah, weird but I guess do, the movie, like, that's not the weird. movie it does it then. yeah yeah exactly yeah <laughs> yeah I saw but it I mean, in it Transformers <laughs> no it, <laughs> <That's> doesn't. <laughs> it definitely works <laughs> I mean that's because um, people do that now that's, that's now like a concept yeah. of like having a sober driver yeah <laughs> people <laughs> also join the military so you know it definitely <laughs> works yeah, we're well, fucking calling James paid like facts. shitloads of money from the U.S. military to get kids Dude, into. Yeah. So many, so <laughs> many G. big G. movies that you don't think have been paid off by the government with military funding to mm. uh, like portray the Howell. military and just <laughs> combat in general the right way. We can never make it through a conversation about movies to that shallow fucking hell. <laughs> shallow hell is, is my the, shallow the hell. The <laughs> <laughs> it was like a, there was like a sigh up where they were trying to see if they can convince they can <laughs> oh this joke's going nowhere fuck it let's move um, wait, no, I Black didn't get to say mine Budweiser wait, can James has to go mine okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No matter how, how loud it is, that is still the most loud by far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't be Clash of Clans. Can't be cock. <laughs> um, so, dear Mark. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> what, what if you were at the Travis Scott Fortnite concert at IRL at Astro World and then fucking <laughs> everyone's getting squished up and you just hear, oof! <laughs> <laughs> It was fucking joke. <laughs> uh, uh, Sorry, replace, dude, replace my replace my audio yeah. with the sound of Myra going, oof, <laughs> oof, oof. All right, James, you have oof. the floor. Yeah, James, spit. Courtney, put a floor there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like vertical. Another so classic like PNG Beef Boys floor. bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think, I don't know, I used to wow. watch, uh, thank you, I used to watch, uh, <laughs> America's Next Top Model a lot with my sisters, and I was super into it when Hell I was, like, yeah. a little kid, just because my sisters fucked with yeah. it, so, that, uh, I, I really like Adam Sandler's comedy music, I know people just, like, hate him now for some reason, but he I really, lo- I love parody music in general. And uh, Adam Sandler has a song about shoving a shampoo bottle in your asshole during <laughs> sex, and it's really fucking funny. And like the Hanukkah song is really great. He has a he has no a song on one music. of his albums that's just like uh, it's just like a audio sketch of him like really having to pee, and it just like progressively gets like you can just hear him by the end like glugging like a two liter into the toilet instead of peeing, but it's like he's just <laughs> be peeing. It's really funny. Yeah. So. I like stuff like that. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. Wait, that people. Works. Hold on, uh, just, just real quick. People hate Adam Sandler now. Is that is that real? Yeah. I, th I thought everybody loved Adam Sandler because he's I th the I think uncut he's, gem he's, guy. He's, no, I think he's since just, Uncut yeah. Foreskins, he's kind of come back into it. But like, for there was a while there for every single movie he made was just like <laughs> these really, really shitty phoned in ones that like you uh, know he he hadn't done like a good one since like I don't know Big Daddy. Click. Because I. Th I Is it <laughs> yes, it's, it's kind of even further back though. Like, a I don't know. I see a lot of people that are like, "No, you just—it's nostalgia." All even like Billy Madison and shit are pure garbage. You're just an idiot. Oh, that's and it's like I, I don't know. Nah, that shit. Yeah, I, I, I think I fucking I think love Adam went, Sandler's earlier shit. Yeah, I think no, he went so through a wee, a wee phase. I, I remember seeing some interview from him where like he was pretty much like, "Yeah, I'm just like." flying all my friends out to these like tropical locations to film <laughs> like he's pretty much just like i think he just kind of used uh, up into uncut gems just used his movies as an excuse to like fuck around with his friends and like fly them out yeah. places on like the company dime or whatever yeah so like which is fair enough yeah, as far as yeah. what they can't sucked, hate but... too much that's a pretty <laughs> yeah that's a ballin that's, way to live that's a gamer move <laughs> that is a gamer but then, move uh, I didn't see a meme where someone was like, he has to like power up through like sh six shitty phone in comedies to like to do the one really good movie, which was Uncut yeah. Gems. And now he's like, <laughs> and then he goes back to doing shitty ones. Then in six years, we're going to get another like Adam Sandler banger. A click yeah. too. I hope we get a click too. <laughs> the I unironically love click. I don't know about I, you I also but like I click. fucking hate I'm click. You hate click? The click fucking sucks. Bro, the cranberries oh, at the on. end is so sad. <laughs> It's like it's weirdly so sad. sad. Dude, I hate like, watching it, animals. I hate watching animals like have a sex drive and that oh, half yeah, the movie no, was that, just an animal <laughs> fucking shit. And I really, yeah. it makes, it, it makes yeah. me irrationally like uncomfortable. Like I know it, like, I don't yeah. think anyone really likes it, but watching animals be sexual makes me so uncomfortable. Yeah. No, I, I, I strongly agree with that. But if yeah. you look past the scenes where he, the dog is humping the thing, like, it's like half the movie. You get a pretty good movie. Yeah, they actually yeah. train the dog to do that. that. I don't actually hate it, but. <laughs> it's so funny that, like. That's all I remember it's, about it, is just being uncomfortable yeah. watching a golden retriever fuck everything. Yeah, no, totally. <laughs> It's weird because I remember that too. Because I was like, "Why do they keep showing this? I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just want to see Mom, Adam Sandler what's happening? turn himself green." <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, her <laughs> eyes rolled up, so they looked all cool and gothic. She had a vision where she saw some lightning flash, and then Vold Voldemort coming <laughs> to kill Draco while Draco slid his wrist in a depressed way. No. All I have is a gun. Thou have failed your mission. Now, I shall kill thou, and I shall kill vampire as well. If thou does not kill him before then, I shall kill Draco too. Please don't make me kill him, please! No, kill him, or I shall kill him anyway. This cannot be. The, the school must be closed. The Bok Bok is part of the famous Turbos. You see, you must go back in time. When Voldemort was in Hogwarts before he became powerful, he got his hearth broken. You must go back in time and seduce him. It is the only way. If he is still evil, then you must kill him. Then. Ebony took off Draco's MCR shrift and seductively took off his pants. He was hung like a Stallone. <laughs> <laughs> he had replaced the vampire tattoo that said Anobi on it. Black roses were all were around it. Ebony gasped. He looked exactly like Gerard Way. Vampire took a video camera. I had said it was okay before. Ebony took <laughs> off her clothes and then we were in for the rid of our lift. They started freaching. <laughs> they started, they started freaking. They started freaching as we climbed. <laughs> <laughs> they started freaching as we climbed into the coffin. He put his spock in her you know what and passively they did it. I love you, MOB! Oh, let me feel your need to feel ya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then they both got an orgasm. They kept going, oh. and Vampire filmed everything perfectly. What a cuck. Suddenly. <laughs> what, what the, the fuck, fuck are, are you, you doing? doing? It was <laughs> Professor Sniper and Professor McGaggle. <gasps> Ch 
Chapter 29. Arthur's note. Sort das fuck up. You're just jealous because you're prepped, so fuck We're you. Back. <laughs> We're back. Raven, you <laughs> rock, girl. Thanks for the help. MCR Rock 666. Oh my Satan! <laughs> Oh, oh, my yeah, every, oh, my yeah. oh my Satan! 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 Snap and prop, <laughs> snap and proffer McGoogle started to shoot at them <laughs> angrily. <laughs> Come now! Oh. Preacher McGongle yielded. They did guilt. <laughs> they did guiltily. They left the room, putting on their clothes. Snoop garbled the caramel and Snoop. put it in his pocket. What the fuck? Yeah, Buster. What the fuck are you gonna do with the fucking camera? Look, Dumble Dumble Whore. Know is your little <laughs> secret, and if you do this again, then you will go to Saint Mango's. So give back Double the camera. Uh, this is Snoop. Okay, I'm. I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Just do that. Hey. Just do that. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, the, the <laughs> mistrizzle of Mad Jizzled. <laughs> uh, let, me, let me put on my, my Snape voice. <laughs> the mystery of Mojik thinks he is crazy. There is no way they will believe him. Yes, so shut your mapath, you inlocent fools. <laughs> she made them all... <laughs> Um, <laughs> she, Pause. Oh, I almost passed out. <laughs> that one got no play good. Double <laughs> <laughs> emptied his lungs. He fucking sharded them. She made them all come into a weird room with white stones all around it. There were all these worried tools in it. Draco started to cry, all sexy and sexative. Arthur's note. <laughs> Arthur's, <laughs> Arthur's note. Get it? Cause he's a sex bomb, lol. Tom fell not rules for left, but not as much as Gerard, you sex legs. I love you fucking rock. Marry me. <laughs> I don't know yeah. what any of that meant. <clears throat> Hell yeah, baby. Ebony started to cry. Everybody at home. Tears of blood. Yes. We're back. <clears throat> there it is. Vampire took out a black honkerchief. <laughs> 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 and started to wipe her, <laughs> and started to wipe her red eyes and then he and Snoop both took out guns using magic they started to shoot each other angrily none of the ballots got on each other yet ebony took out her wand Snap started to scram. He dropped the gun, but it was too late. Both of them had run out of ballots. Professor McGoogle <laughs> did a spell so that they were all chained up. She took out a box of tools. Then she oh. said, Okay, so versus, I'm going to go now. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's okay, Enderby. Evergreen will be all right. Remember the sidio you took of Snake? Snape laughed again. And then he took out some whips. Chapter 30. <laughs> Arthur's note. Stop flaming the story, okay? You do not know what's even gonna happen, okay? So <laughs> fall or you. <laughs> if, if you flam, you will be a prep so all flamers can kiss my ass. Saws for saws for saws. <laughs> What? <laughs> Sars for Sars for saying Alzheimer's is Don Gris, but that's the mystery's <laughs> opinion, because society basically sucks. Thanks to Raven, you rock, Bick. No! 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 Snap stated, loafing meaningly. <laughs> he's just like, it's just like he's a cat just like making loafs. He's just like... <laughs> <laughs> he took out a camera and Vili. Then oh. he came towards Darky. <laughs> oh. oh. I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> yeah, can you say turds that? coming out of my penis and they're dark. <laughs> <laughs> he took some stones out of his pokey. He put the stones around Draco and knit a candle. What the fuck are you doing? Snoop laughed meanly. <laughs> He pulled down his pants. Ebony <laughs> gasped. Pulled. There was a dark. Uh, there was a dork mark on his. You know what? Dork when did that 
Look at there. He waved his wand and a knife came. He gave the knife to Anobi. You must stab Vrompir. If you don't, then I'll rape Draco. <laughs> what? No, you fucking bastard! But then Draco looked at her sadly with his evil gothic red eyes that looked so depressant and sexy. Like a mix between Kurt Cobain and Gerard. But then Ebony looked at Vampire and he looked so smexy too with his gothic black hair. She thought of the time when they screwed and the time she did it with Draco and Dumbledore came and Draco almost committed suicide and Vampire was so sportive. All that did happen. All that did happen. That did happen. <clears throat> Snipe laughed angrily. He started to pray to <laughs> Voxamort. He started to do an incapacitation, dancing around the Stokes, whipping Draco and Vampire. Suddenly, Walker. an idea Ebony Walker. had. She closed her eyes and using her vampire powers, she sent a telepathic message to Draco and Vampire so they could destruct Snape. Dumbledore will get you! You just <laughs> wait up till the mystery of Mahik finds out. I can't even do an accent for that. <laughs> Mahik. Mahik. <laughs> Mahik. <laughs> Me <laughs> Meanwhile, Ebony took out her wand. Ooh. You ridiculous donderhead. He took off all of Draco's <laughs> clothes, and just as he was about to rape him... Cassio! Oh. I shit him! <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Cassio! Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Snop scrammed and started running around the room screaming. Meanwhile, oh. Ebony grabbed oh. her black mobile oh. and sent a text to Sirius. Oh. She stopped doing Crutchio. I'm going to kill. But suddenly, Sererus came. Snake oh. put. <laughs> <laughs> Snake put the whip behind his back. Oh, hello, Sev. I was just teaching them something. But suddenly, Lucian and Professor Trevelry came into the room and they and Sirius unlocked the chains and put them around Snap. Then Professor Trevelry said, Hey, come on, Ebony, let's go! Chapter 31. <laughs> Author's note, I said, shut the fuck queefs? up, you queefs. <laughs> <laughs> Stop Kaylin, Ebony, and Mary Sue, okay? You do not even know what's going to happen, okay? So fuck you! Thanks to the mob of Raven for the help. I always knew you were on Voldemort's side, you son of a bitka. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just teaching them something. Oh, fucking yeah? Ebony took out some black Voldemort serum out of her pocket and gave it to Cerverus. He made Snap dunk it. <laughs> he did Arngrilly. Then Luscious uh. took out a tape recorder and started playing it while he did curses on Snap. Then Professor <laughs> Sinister and Lucian made everyone get out with them while Snape told That's his secretes. Now, Ebony was going to go back in time to seduce Volksamort. Hermione, Darkness, and Willow came too. Bloody Mary gave Ebony a black bag from Tom Ridd's store. What's in the bag? Hey, you will see! <laughs> I can't wait till he gets a paragraph with that voice. Yeah. 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 Ebony opened the bag. In it was a sexy, tight, low smut black leather gothic dress. Ebony okay. and Obi put it on. Her friends helped her put on black fishnets and black pointy boots Willow had chosen. <laughs> Willow and Darkness helped her put on black eyeliner and blood red lipstick. You look so fucking kawaii, bitch. Thanks. Okay, now you're going to go back in time. You'll have to do it in a few <laughs> sessions. Professor Twally gave Ebony a... <coughs> <laughs> yeah, professor, you get rid of that? Yeah, Professor yeah. Twally gave Ebony <laughs> a black shit. gun. She put it in a strap on. Her fishnets like in Red is oh. Evil. Red is Evil! <laughs> oh, that's your game! <laughs> <laughs> Deflex's favorite game! That's a reference! <laughs> no, I know that one. Then she gave Ebony a black time tuner. After an hour, use the time tuner to go back here! Good luck! Good luck! Good luck! Good luck. Hey, oh, good luck. Darkus and Willow gave Ebony Death's touch sin. Then, Ebony jumped sexily into the pensive. <laughs> suddenly, oh, the pensive. She, <clears throat> suddenly, she was in front of to school. In front of her was one of the sexiest goth guys she had ever seen. He was wearing long black hair, kind of like Mikey Way. He only was wearing 
Yeah, he was wearing hair. <laughs> Only black. Yeah. <laughs> he had grin eyes like Billy Joe Armstrong and pale wit skin. He was wearing a black ripped up suit with Vans. It was Tom Bombadil, <laughs> which I made a joke about it's earlier, the but didn't. It's the wrong, I it's the wrong franchise. Tom Bombadil. Really one of the most deep cut lore characters in Lord of the Rings, just <laughs> in Harry Potter. He's in Harry Potter now. Chapter 32. Oh, yeah. Author's note, I said stop for flaming. I know his name isn't Tom Bomb. <laughs> <No. laughs> I know his name isn't Tom Bodil. That was a mistake. If you do not like the story, then you can go screw yourself. You suck. Hi, I'm Ebony. Wait, a new student. What? Oh, wait. She used one of her eight last names. Hi, I'm Anna Way. <laughs> the new student. The name's Tom, but you can call me Satan. That's my middle name. Tom motioned <laughs> toward the stairwell. Well, come on. We have to go upstairs. Hey, Satan. Do you happen to be a fan of Green Day? Oh, my fucking God. How did you know? <laughs> Actually, I like GC a lot, too. Oh, my God, me too. Guess what? They uh, have a concert in Hogsmeade. <laughs> Hogsmeade? <laughs> yeah, that's what they used to call it in these time before it became Hogsmeade in 2000. And also, there's a really cool uh, shop called Hot Topic? No, oh, it's called <laughs> Hot Issue. <laughs> 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 then... In 1998, they changed it to Hot Topic. I haven't seen oh, that. So, <laughs> is Dumbledore your prince pill? <laughs> uh huh. I'm in Slytherin. Oh my fucking god, same too. You go to the school? Yeah, that's why I'm here. I'm new. Suddenly, Dumbledore flew in on his broomstick and started shredding Whee! at them angrily. No! Talking in the halls! Stupid cops! <laughs> <laughs> he, had, <laughs> he had short blonde hair and he was wearing a polo shirt from American Ogle Outfitters. <laughs> That's got to be one of the worst ones of the whole thing. That was a train wreck. That's just the American Eagle. Outfitters. He's so mean to us goths and punks just because we're in Slytherine and... We're not preps. <laughs> is he fucking Icelandic now? <laughs> his, his voice is taking a turn. It's slowly devolving. <laughs> Actually, I think it maybe it's because you're the Bark Lord. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, Lord, he no, turned no, him no, into no. a tree. <laughs> hey, you're a tree. The Bark Lord. Do the, do the fucking blah and like have no like, <laughs> turn into a tree. <laughs> Courtney spent 600 hours on it. Make it look really good. Yeah, yeah. 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 What the fuck? Oh, nothing. Then suddenly, the floor opened. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Every, everyone looked at her weirdly as she fell down into the hall. Hey, where are you going? Just <laughs> looked down into the abyss and, hey, where are you going? Hey. <laughs> what the heck? It's so much funnier with the context of Satan asked as I fell. <laughs> as I fell. <laughs> um, Ebony got out of the hole and it was back in the pensive in Professor Trevolri's classroom. Dumbly Dum was there. <laughs> Dumbly Dum, I think I just met you. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> hey, this is my classroom. Wait, <laughs> WTF, Ebony? What the hell are you doing? Um... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> there's a lot of completely cut out. There's a lot of subtext in that. Um, she was just like um, and he was yeah. like ah oh, yes. Um, oh so, yeah. So there's an entire story arc basically in between that about how she's addicted to like wizard heroin Penis. and it makes no fucking sense and takes like 10 pages so i just cut it all out yeah, it's probably okay. for the best <laughs> yeah. unlike the rest of this which makes plenty of sense <laughs> this, is, this is particularly bad chapter 33 author's note i said shut up it's not my fault okay if you don't like the story then you're a prep so fuck you flamers p.s i'm not updating until you give me fifth god reviews and there's a time i meant it no. you suck Thanks, Raven, for the help. I'll promise to help you if your story lols. Ebony exited the room and Draco was there. He was wearing a big black GC t-shirt, which was his pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, <he> <laughs> 
<laughs> Hold up. Is that, is that pajamas? He was wearing a big black GC t-shirt, which was his Panamas. <laughs> <laughs> Panamas? Hey, sexy. Oh, how did it go, Enderby? Fine. Oh, how far did you go with Satan? Not too far, LOL. Hmm, will you have to do this with him? I hope not too far. Then Ebony felt bad for shooting at him. She said sorry. They fringed. What happened to Snipe? <laughs> oh, you will see. He opened a door. Snap and Lumpkin was there. Sirius Lumpkin. was pokering them by staging them with a black knife. No! Please! <laughs> Sirius started to suck his blood. Ebony laughed. Oh. Ebony. <laughs> Ebony laughed statistically. <laughs> <laughs> she she talks some she talks some photons of him and snap Bing torqued Bing torqued <laughs> Bing torqued Bing torqued <laughs> Bing torqued <laughs> <laughs> Auth <laughs> Authors note Okay I know this is men but I think about it people they are pedos and snap tried to rap them and the way said is rock has anyone seen Shrek Attack Three lol <laughs> <laughs> they took some of Snipe's oh. blood, then Draco and Ebony oh. went back to their rooms. Jesus they sat God. on Ebony's gothic black coffin. Her clothes were kind of dritty, so she put on a black leather outfit thingy, kind of like the one <laughs> Sueline has in Underworld. Dark... Andre <laughs> Dark World. And <laughs> Andre World. Andre Darko. World. Darko put on Desolation <laughs> Livers by MCR. <laughs> then... They started. They started. <laughs> <laughs> they started. They started to take Farting. off each other's clothes. She took off his shit and he tatted. <laughs> hey, put that back in. I was saving that. Pulling it out. And, and he had a six pack. Lol. Let's get this off. Uh, we. <laughs> They started to mack out like in the grudge. He put his wetness. <laughs> no other movie. He put yeah. <laughs> just the grudge. He put his wetness in her. You know what? Sexually, she uh. got an orge. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Chapter thirty-four. Author's note: Shut the fuck up, preps. Have you even read the story? You're probably all just preps and poses. So fuck you. Thanks to Raven for the help. I'm glad her and Raven are friends again. Yeah, it was yeah. really yeah. sad when they weren't. Ebony. He woke up in the coffin the next day. Draco was gone. What? Suddenly, Sorius cocked on the door. Ebony opened it. Hi, Ebony. Guess what? You have to come oh, to Professor Sinister's <laughs> office. Okay, so, what the fuck happened to Snipe and Lupin? I fucking tortured them. They are an Escaban now. LOL! <laughs> where, where are Draco and Vimpyra? They are excused from school today. Sodomize <laughs> mode. Sodomize. Yeah, why did she fuck it that bad? Like, that's on purpose. That's 100% on purpose. She wrote purpose. serious as sodomize. All of this, they, sodomize. She fucking said, uh, she called me Voldemort Vader, so like, I feel like it's starting <laughs> oh, to get Darth Vader, yeah. yeah. He's a mastermind. Uh, right now they are watching the I can't say that. Right now they are watching- The <laughs> Right now they are watching the nightmare before Xmas. They went into the office. Professor Sinister was in there. She took mm. out the pensive and the time torner. Uh, <laughs> You will have to do another session now. Good luck, <laughs> friends. And then Ebony jumped into the Prince again. Suddenly, Ebony looked around. She was in the Great Hall eating Count Chorcula. It was morning. She was sitting next to Satan. On a table was a tall gothic man with long black hair, pale skin and blue eyes, wearing a suit and black Cronversy shoes. <laughs> he looked just like Charlin Manson. Who's he, Wan Wan? Oh, that's Professor Slutborn. He's the <laughs> portent's teacher. Ebony? Yeah? Did you know that Marilyn Mason is playing in Hogsmeade tonight? 
and they are showing the exercise at the movies before that. Yeah. Well, want to go to the con? <laughs> 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 well, want to go to the contort and the movie with me? Chapter 35. Ghost of you. Author's note. Thanks to Susie for the idea. You rock. <laughs> Fuck off, preps. Thanks to Raven for the help. <laughs> You rock, girl. P.S. I'm going to end a story really soon, so fuck you. Oh, yeah, and if you know any gothic names, please tell me, because I need one for serious fangs. Ebony went into the conman room thinking of Satan. Suddenly, she gasped. Draco was there. He locked as hut as ever, wearing a black leather pants, a black lonkin prack t-shirt, and black eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> Long and prick. Long and prick. That's the Indian oh. version. Oh my god. <laughs> That's uh, like the fucking bootleg t shirt you get at the swap meet. Yeah. <laughs> Draco, what the fuck are you, dong? <laughs> Suave. Then Ebony remembered it wasn't Draco. My it was Lucan, Brad. his dad. He still had two arms. Thank God. Does he not? Hi, Lucan. I'm Ebony, the new student, lol. Oh, yeah, Satan told me about you. Listen, I'm in a goth band <laughs> with those guys. We're playing tonight at the Maryland Mason show as a backup. Orly? Yeah, we're called XX Black X Tear XX. I play Ticket. I played Gears of War 1 in 2005 on Xbox Live. I played Tig Gutter. <laughs> Spartacus plays the drums. Snap plays the, the boss. Baby. The boss, baby. And James. <laughs> we both made hey. the same joke. And James plays the. Wait. So James <laughs> plays the guitar. You play the gutter. <laughs> is a different. Okay, fair enough. And James oh, no. plays the gutter. Took the guitar to even foe we call him Samaro after Samara and Daring. But don't you have a lead singer? Lucian looked dawn sadly. <sighs> we used to, but she did. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> contemplated suicide by silting her wrists with an R. Oh my fucking she did. god. That's so fucking sad. It's okay. I can't say this. <laughs> Come on, brother. It's not threatened. <laughs> it's okay, but we knew. Oh my god. It's okay, but we need a new lead s singer. <laughs> <laughs> put that on screen. Okay. Put it on screen. Yeah. Since for the full context. <laughs> Can't wait. That might get. That might fuck us. You guys know what no, we mean. Yeah, yeah. I it was, it was with an S. S yeah. and then the M word. A new lead S <laughs> hard R. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of in a banad myself. <laughs> really? Yeah. We're called Bloody Gothic Rose 666. You want to hear me sing? Yeah, said everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is there. So the guys talk out their guitars. They begin to play a song by author's note. Get it? Because <laughs> bye guys are so sexy. Gern Day. I walk this empty strut on the boulevard of rock and drums. <laughs> <laughs> NLP, will you join band? Please? It's like a fucking Indian person on Facebook asking for pictures of boobs. Hello, beautiful. Will you join band? Will you join band, please? Will you join my band, please? <laughs> McChicken. Um, McChicken. Okay. <laughs> Are we gong play tonight? <laughs> Okay. Ebony knew that she had to get a new outfit. She walked outside wondering how she could go forward in time. Suddenly, someone jumped in front of her. It was Morty McFlee. <gasps> he was wearing a black Bernard t-shirt and black Begay jeans. <laughs> Begay jeans. Begay it jeans. sounds like jeans from the 90s. Begay yeah. jeans. What the hell are Begay you doing jeans. here? <laughs> <laughs> I would try to do my best, uh, <clears throat> yeah. my best, uh, what's his name? Uh, Michael McFly. J. Fox. Yeah, Michael J. Yeah. Fox. Okay. I will help you. <laughs> Go. <laughs> You're gonna oh shake God. violently. <laughs> oh, Come on. 
Courtney <laughs> killed it. <laughs> Not Kenny. Yeah, that shit's so really funny. Put that in three times. Hold the side. Hold the side. Uh, all right. I will help you go forward in ten, and it'll be. <laughs> do a normal one, just have options. <laughs> I will help you go froad in Tim NLB. <laughs> then he took out a black Tim machine. Ebony went into it and suddenly she was forward in Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 36 Author's note I said stop flaming, okay? I bet you are probably sovereignty years old P.S. Porter says you're a prep Oh yeah, and thanks to Raven for the help Have fun in England, girl <laughs> Ebony loped around in a depressed way. <laughs> Suddenly, she saw Professor Trolley, Melody Mary, Socrates, and Draco, Vampire, and Willow were there too. Oh my god. Uh, oh my fucking god, Sorius, I saw you and Samero and Snip and everyone. I can't believe Snip used to be golfy and in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Oh, hey there! Bitch! Hi, fucker. Listen. <laughs> Damn. Say it as you got to a gothic cornet <laughs> at a movie. <laughs> so I. <laughs> So I need an outfit for that too. I, th I think oh I look. God. I think I looked away just as Doplex did that whole bit. So I'm like, missed everything <laughs> no, you guys are laughing at. So I, did, I did it, and then I did it just with my hands, and then and then I answered his fucking body. He just like started convulsing, and then I thought we moved on because it was kind of bad. And then Doplex did the line like, "I think I'll help you go back in time." <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my Satan. Uh. Want to go to Hot Topic to shop for your outfit? Oh my fucking <laughs> shit. Let's have a group cutting session. <laughs> She's finally one of the girls. <laughs> I can't fucking wait for that. But we need to get some stuff first. Yeah, we need some love potions for Enobi. Well, we have potions class now, so let's go. They all went sexually to potions class, but Snap wasn't there. Instead, there was Cornelio Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Cornelio Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Cornelio where the fuck? Where the fuck? Where the fuck is kid fuck? <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Here's an escapabababab band now with Snip and losing his own whip. He has cancer. Now do your work! Escapabababababababab <laughs> band! Black Zoink School! Black Zoink School! Black Zoink School! There it is! Come on! They all went and talked angry amongst themselves. Can you bell have Snap used to be Godic? That's it! <laughs> I'm getting Professor Bridge! <laughs> he stomped out angrily. Ebony and her friends began talking again. Ebony began to drink some blood mixed with beer. Suddenly, she saw Hagrid in the cupboard. What the hell is he doing? That's a fair question. <laughs> Ebony pointed everyone toward Hargrid. Hargriff, what the fuck are you doing? Ebony oh looked God. around. Hagrid was putting Darko. something in her glass of blood beer. Darko and Vampire started to beat him up sexily. God, you are oh, such fuck. a poser. Oh. Suddenly, Ebony looked at what she was putting in the blood. It was... 
amnesia portion. Oh my god. Chapter 37. I her so bad. <laughs> Author's <laughs> note. Okay, everybody, I'm going on vocation in the frist of July, so I'm either gonna end the fic or up that in next weeks. Fangs, oh yeah, and prep stop flaming the story. Raven, thanks for the help. See a girl after vocation. Vampire and Draco yeah. chained Hagrid to the floor. In class. <laughs> Oh my fucking <laughs> Satan! Maybe I could use amnesia potion to make Satan fall in love with me faster. Oh, but you're so sexy and wonderful anyway, Tata. <laughs> Why would you need it? Tata! <laughs> to make everything go faster, lol. But you won't have to do it with him or anything, will you? Okay, well, anyway, let's go to Professor Trevory's room. Damn, deflecting <laughs> the fucking question. <laughs> yeah. Draco, Ebory, and then went to Professor Trolley's room. But Professor <laughs> Trolley wasn't there. Okay, Professor Trolley isn't here. What the fuck should we do? Suddenly, he looked at a sign on the black wall. On it said, everyone, Professor Trolley is away. She is too gothic. She is an Azkabian now. Classes <laughs> shall be taught by Dumbledore, who is back, but he shall be, not be principal for now. Sincerely, <laughs> Professor Rumbridge. Oh my fucking god. How can we do <laughs> that so one good. one? That's so good. <laughs> Suddenly, Dumbledore came. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. What the hell are you dog in my advice? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, Ebony saw Morty McFly's black <laughs> Tim machine. Ebony jumped hey seductively Tim. into it, leaving Draco and Vampire. Suddenly, oh. she was back in Tim. Suddenly, oh. she looked around. Oh. It was... Professor Slutborn's o face. She sneaked around. Suddenly, she saw the amnesia potion on his desk. It was black with blood-red pentagrams in it. It was the shape of a cross. Suddenly, she put it in her pocket. Why is she everything in the set is suddenly? <laughs> suddenly. <laughs> suddenly, she put it in her pocket. Suddenly, the door opened and it was <laughs> Professor Slutgorn. Oh my god. What are you doing, fucker? I don't know. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, sorry. I was just looking around because I thought this was class. So. Oh. Okay, you can go now. That was the craziest de-escalation I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. No, what the fuck are you doing? doing? No, no, what the fuck, fuck are you doing? doing? <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just looking oh, around, okay. you know. It's class time. Okay. <laughs> just being chilling. You know how it is. Ebony <laughs> went to the con <laughs> man room chilling. after putting on her clothes. Silas, Samaro, and Snap were there practicing Vampires Will Never Hurt You by MCR. Oh, hi, you guys. I say, man. Oh, he's coming. Oh, by the oh. way, you can call me Hades now. Ooh. That's Sudden the emo name she settled on. <laughs> Suddenly, Satan came. He oh. was oh. <laughs> I knew one of you was going to do it. It still made me laugh. He was wearing a smexy black leather Jackson, black Congress shoes, <laughs> a, sli <laughs> a Slipknot t-shirt, and a black tie. Okay. I'll see you guys at the concert. And then... Ebony went off with Satan to the concert. Ba -da -da -ba -da! My immortal is back so next week of my for the last episode ever. Oh, We're of finishing the, of, it. Of the Beef Boys podcast. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're the, the series finale of My Immortal and Beef Boys. We're all killing ourselves. <laughs> we're silting our wrists. We're silting our wrists. We're, we're, we're silting our, yeah, our wrists with no W. Yeah. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>